So what's up guys, we're finally back here working on the Prelude. Uh, should have done this a long time ago, I'm finally taking the alternator out so I can take part this down here and start reassembling. Ah, uh, so we're here with Timmy Boy who showed up. I'm currently struggling because my parents moved all my stuff around. So I don't know where anything is. I've been looking for this pole. Y'all have probably seen it. I've been using it in like all my videos. It's this little red pole that I use as like a breaker bar. The iconic pole is what we're calling it. The iconic pole. Because this little tiny ratchet just does not have the length for my uh, my tiny muscles to pull. So I've been looking for this pole and I don't know where it is. Come on, come out. I think it's the alternator. <laughs> <laughs> My alternator has tech support. It's probably the alternator. It's probably the alternator. It's probably the alternator. It's probably the alternator. It's, probably the alternator. it's, probably the alternator. it's, it's alternator. definitely the alternator. <laughs> okay. Side note. That was easier to pull out than the alternator on that thing over there. If I can zoom in on now, it. Now where yeah, did that, that little nut that. go? Your what? My nut. It's my ass, I'm turning into you. <laughs> so I just opened the bag and I... <laughs> you opened the bag, I. You opened the bag. Whoop. So we found the iconic bar. Yes, we did. It was in the back of the car. Now I'm gonna go beat somebody with it. said you can't park there. <laughs> okay, so this thing's been wobbling, like, damn. Bro, my timing cover is Yo. fucked. That's so sad. Fridge man, pull up. All right, we got three out of four lower timing cover bolts off, and then we just got to get this last one, and then we chilling. Orange we have... I know why this thing don't, don't run. Not because the head is pulled or the timing belt snapped or that we took everything off. It's because the orange ball is missing. We got one more bolt, and this is too long. Of course. You dropped your socket there, bud. You don't say. <laughs> I'm turning into my into Tamias, by the way. Hey man, once you go black, you never go back. You know what I mean? I don't know. I might. That's crazy. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's so much grease on this bolt that doesn't want to go on. You ain't gotta film all this. Yes, I do. You ain't gotta film me struggling. You you're, you're riding the struggle bus. Everyone must know. Yep. Anywho, um, yeah. Okay, so I thought I got all the bolts out of the way. Uh -huh. But there's this little tiny clip right there. We're going to label this the mystery clip. And I don't know what it goes to. We also dropped the 10 mil and it went somewhere into this timing bolt. Always so, the 10 mil. Always the goddamn yeah. Part of it went into here. I really hope it didn't. But I don't see anything in there. So I don't think it did. So not only is my timing bolt snapped, turns out my balance shaft bolt was also snapped. Look at, look at this. crazy. That hoe dead as hell. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, I don't really see the marks in the crankshaft. But I don't know how these current position sensors are still working. Because they're caked in oil and stuff. Baba booey. Boy, if you don't. Okay, so it turns out the 10 mil was just inside the jack stand. That's why we didn't see it. So, yeah, honestly, I don't feel like messing with this right Actually, now. I know exactly what's wrong with it. What? It ain't got no gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it. All right, we're currently taking out this broken engine mount for this new one. Woo! Get out of here. Bro is eating a baguette right now. All right, so one, I'm eating this whole loaf of bread. Baguette. And two, got some thick boys. Woo! I think I need a new coolant hose. And honestly, now would be the time to do it. Get this thing apart. Try to get this head gasket on, but it's being stubborn. Stubborn. Oh, wait, no, I got this side on. For this side, it's being way stubborn. I don't want to, like, hammer it or anything, because then I'm going to break it. All right, so after way too much finagling and work, we got the new head on. He in the hood. So I finally aligned the engine to what I'm pretty sure is top dead center. Honestly, I can't find the mark. 
So I think there's too much oil. <laughs> There the cops. We're trying to take this cam gear off. It was being up. stubborn. You're going to break the table. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to break the table. <laughs> All right, this is how we did it. We put a C-clamp between two pieces of wood and this. So we could bust it loose. That's bust how you do it. it. Bust, bust. We are Prelude Professionals. Mm -hmm. Where's the other one? Yeah, the other one's down there. So this is how you tighten your cam bolts. <laughs> Two C clamps. And just like that, she's torqued down, baby. Mm -hmm. On the Paylu Professionals right here, you guys. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody else tell you differently. I'm gonna take a picture of this too. All right, we're back here with the Prelude God. I'm not a Prelude God, he is. And right now we're going to put the head studs on. So we just put the head back in, line it up TDC. So, here we go. All right, so we took the head back off. So we can put all the head studs in first, just make it... One more, and we're gonna put the head back on. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got eleven. Nice. Cool. That's bad. A little uh, the nuts on the head studs now, so we can torque the head down and get going. <laughs> Doing the final torque spec now. 72 foot pounds, praying that nothing becomes righty loosey. There we go. Three clicks is good. All right. We back here working through the night. Now we're getting this yep, it is engine mounts off. We can take the water pump out. <laughs> Just dropped a socket, huh? Yep. Got all the sensors on. On this side, anyways. So, I ended up losing one of the VTEC solenoid bolts. So I pulled one from my fender. And there we go. If it's stupid, but it works, it isn't stupid. Exactly. Starting to put the cam caps back on. This is where the labeling came in handy. So that now we know which one went where. So. Got to bolt them down, put these rails on, and we're good. Oh, we spilled coolant everywhere, but we're here uh, torquing down these bolts on the on the head. And cam gears are pretty much aligned. Water pump is in. Tension is in. So okay. So we're good. Four is right there. Mm -hmm. The timing belt's on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're so close, it just. She wants it, she's just not doing it yet. We're gonna get it though. Now we're gonna be here degree in the cam gears. So it all lines up at TDC. Woo! Cams are degreed. We got minus five of the intake, minus one of the exhaust. Now we're all lined up at TDC. Woo! We are doing the honors. And I just yank it straight out. You'll hear it click. 
There she is. Woo. That grenade pin. <laughs> awesome. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Putting on insect manifold on exhaust manifold, and we also got the dizzy on. Calibration and or settings in for a different map. Which market idler control valve is probably the worst thing. We're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. They are so close, I can see the end. We're getting there. Putting the alternator in. We got a few more final touches and she'll be ready to crank. And hopefully, when it finally starts, it doesn't blow up in our face. <laughs> right. Is that good? All right, guys, we are almost there. I mean, we just primed it, just put the valve cover on, connected the alternator, and got to put power steering pump. Then the ignition coil, and we are golden. We'll leave the coolant since we uh, let all of it drip out all over the garage. So, here it goes. All right, we're gonna do a compression test to make sure I don't have a bunch of dead cylinders still. There were 12 bad valves plus the head gasket, so I have, I have faith. All right, we had zero compression in this cylinder and this cylinder, so we think we degreed the cams wrong. So not we'll find out. Bad. Not that bad. Yeah. The vehicle is at TDC right now. During the leak down test, only undo the Allen keys of the camshaft on the intake side mm -hmm. and adjust at the bolt, the main bolt to the camshaft, left mm -hmm. or right, while you have the leak down test blowing air into the cylinder mm -hmm. that's it all right sounds simple enough we're gonna try it no -uh. oh. peep the turbo kit anyways um that is going to be all for this video we got a lot done it's starting to look like a real engine again we, we completely reassembled it uh next video we're gonna do the valve adjustment so adjust the valve lash and then re degree the cams and hopefully hopefully my compression goes up so when we redegree the cams, we're going to do a, a leak down test, see where it's leaking from, and then move it around and see if we can fix it. Yeah, that's all for this one. See you in the next one.